Hey guys, today's video is about setting up uh, STM32 development environment on Mac OS with Visual Studio Code, uh, OpenOCD, and Cortex Debug. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I have my Mac OS. Um, you need to download Visual Studio Code if you don't, if you haven't installed it yet. So type in uh, Visual Studio Code in any browser i use safari in my case and just go directly to the download link click that and either you use universal if you're intel chip or apple silicon depending on your machine right so since i already have it i can find it under my app let's look for my visual studio code click it and that's my visual studio code so it's already installed let me side right there okay now the next thing you need to do is to install the tools open the cd and the compiler in my case in my machine i have already installed homebrew and i'm gonna tell you how to do it so if you go to the brew.sh website the homebrew website copy that link and open a terminal and paste that link and press enter just hit enter and it is gonna install it but since I already have it, right, I'm not going to do it today, but I'm going to tell you the next step if you have done it. You can install the package by typing brew install and then the name of the package, which is OpenOCD, and hit enter. And the next one is a compiler, which is GCC, ARM, embedded, and hit enter. So it's going to install OpenOCD and the GCC ARM embedded. So I'm gonna show you the version that I have. That's my version, 0.11. And this GCC compiler, it's ARM non AD GCC, that's V. So I got version 10.3.1. So you might get a different version, but it doesn't really matter, that should work. Okay, let's clear everything and focus on uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, extension, these are extensions that you need to, um, to work with STM32. C and C++. This is an IntelliSense and for debugging, code browsing, this is by Microsoft, you can just hit install. You might also want to install this C++ extension pack by Microsoft. Next is we go to find Cortex debug. And there you go. Hit install and make sure it's by minus 25. Next, um, we're going to install make file tools. And this is also by Microsoft. Hit install. Next, we go with a um, git graph. And install that as well. Git graph is really useful. It's a graphical user interface uh, for uh, version control. And the last one is serial monitor and hit install. This is also by Microsoft. All right, and I'm gonna clear this so that I can see the installation progress. Let me see install. Oh wow, everything is already installed. That that was quick. Um Serial monitor, C, C++, Cortex debugs. Yeah, seems like everything is installed. That was quick. I didn't expect that. Anyway, yeah, so these are all the extensions that you need um, to get started with the STM32 development environment. And next one, we're gonna go with example. So we need an example and I use libopencm3 uh, as a library. So there's also libopencm3 examples that you can build so that's the github um, repo that we are going to clone so remember this is a link uh, it's a link and that's exactly what we're gonna uh, install or clone under terminal so you open terminal and type in git clone https github.com slash slip open cm3 
flip open CM3 6 samples and hit enter. And that's it. Now you go to Finder and go to your home and you will see there is a folder called lip open CM3 uh, examples. And all the examples is here. But if you click lip open CM3, which is a library that we need, it's still empty. So this is how to um, populate that because that is actually part of the git submodule. So you type in git submodule in it, hit enter, and then git submodule update to populate the folder. Just give it some time because it's going to clone the repository and put it under libopencm3. There you go. And as you can see here in the finder, libopencm3 is populated with all the source files. All right. So looking good. So let's close this finder. Also close the terminal. We don't need it. We don't even need the browser as well. Let's focus on um, Visual Studio Code and open the folder because we're going to build the examples and we're going to try to debug like simple example from um, for uh, STM32 F4 discovery. So that's the folder, the exact same uh, folder structure. And I'm going to find examples stm32 f4, stm32 f4 discovery. And you know, we're just mini playing. You know, it's, it's very simple. This is a source code. So it's going to uh, bling one of the LED on GPIO 12. All right. So next, um, we're going to do mini bling build. So let's go to the integrated terminal and we're going to type make in here. So if this is the first time you build with lip open CM3, when you type make, it's going to build all the libraries, static libraries for all different, you know, ARM cortex MCU out there that is supported by lip open CM3. So there was a way that you can build only for your platform. So you can type make and then uh, all capitals, targets, equal sign. And then you basically find what is the, the architecture that you have or the platform that you use, like stmj 2 f 4 slash F4. So <clears throat> let's give it some time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to build for all of those um, MCUs. And after done, uh, we're going to try to debug this. So feel free to skip uh, if you have no patience to wait. But yeah, let's wait for, for it to get done. All right, so there's an error in there, but it's not one of the STM32. So if you type make again, it's gonna build um, your example just fine. So as you can see the elf is here and you can also have the map prove that you're actually build it. And let's skip this. Next, we're gonna, uh, next we're gonna go to run and debug, click that icon and create a launch.json file. And you want to add the configurations and choose Cortex Debug OpenOCD. And there you have it. Now all you need to do is to point the executable element to the mini blink. So if you look at the folder structure, it's in examples slash stm32 slash f4 slash stm32 f4 discovery slash mini blink slash mini blink dot l okay 
Let's make sure yeah, that's all right. Let's check for other um, configuration in here and config files. So this is the config files. If you're familiar with open OCD on the command line, this is the one that you pass with the dash F. So you want to put interface uh, as the link the CFG. So F4 discovery has as the link on board and then the target stm 32 f 4 xcfg and that's about it let's take a look at the other yep i think we're good so if you go to run and debug you can see that debug with open cd you can see all the name is that you can put whatever you want and click that yeah uh green triangle what is that error huh well, let's take a look what the error is go to terminal oh wow so it seems like this is the same issue in anything uh, that i install like windows or linux it doesn't seem to know where to find the config configuration file i'm surprised maybe there's something wrong with my setup so if you guys know please let me know in the comment down below uh, let me try where's the path so that's user local. Let me try to find the script. Call share open OCD scripts, I believe. Yeah. Interface. See? Bingo. There it is. So ST link is there. So what we can do is actually in the config files in the launch.json, we can put a full path to this file. So slash usr slash local slash share slash open cd slash scripts slash interface and then slash st link so the same thing for the target we also have to provide a full path slash usr slash local slash share slash open cd slash target no sorry scripts slash target slash stm 32 f 4 xcfg and there you go so let's try again hit that green triangle and there you go you have it so that's how easy to set up um stm 32 development environment so you hit that run it's gonna run you can pause it and then step over it or step in stepping out and of course you can also stop it all right so that's that's about it so it's not it's not that difficult to set up stm32 um, development environment in mac os with the all free and open source software like open ocd and you can also do debugging on the, on the visual studio with cortex debugs so let me know if you have uh, questions in the comment down below and Please subscribe and happy coding.